Like, hey, buddy. Oh, oh. I'm break dancing in the middle of the street. Don't bother me. Oh shit. I know what y'all are thinking. <laughs> we upgrade. Where in the hell are they? <laughs> uh, here's here's a quick update on things. My mom had a surgery. A pretty serious surgery, and she's going to be out of commission for quite some time because of it. And Kate is here, babysitting my mom's cat, which just gave birth to not one, not two, not three, but, but eight, eight kittens. Wait, that was not eight. Yeah, eight. I can't. you still got eight. <laughs> I'm tired. It's okay. Yeah, she's. We she, have we have it, the kittens on my iPad, so yeah, I'm watching them as it, we do this. <laughs> Yeah. Can she, I show them? Yeah, if you want to. Uh, they're uh, they're all resting. Uh, currently, uh, the mama is also resting. The birthing was a uh, pretty difficult. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, look at them. There's there's eight of them, yep. and they are all very hungry and very restless. Yeah. And Kate has been here basically babysitting them for my mom. That's what she does when she's not on the channel. Uh, she's basically babysitting cats for my mom. She's really good I'm at it. I'm a cat it. nanny. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You are a supreme cat nanny. So she goes running off in the middle of this. It's because it's... she's seen something on her iPad that requires her attention. And basically she's running up there to take care of the kittens. So yeah. she's responsible. See, kids? Res responsibility, kids. It's not just a word that's hard to spell. <laughs> See? Sorry. It's okay. Your mom... It's messaging me. Mom, yeah, mom is also, uh, was... She's just, she was... She was she said, laughing at seeing the setup? She said, awesome, I never worry when you are taking care of them, so... Aw, oh, that's sweet. So, also, she sent a picture to my mom of the setup that we currently have here. Yeah. I brought Prometheus, <laughs> you know, the, the OG PC with me, uh, which we've recorded all of our reactions and stuff on since the very be like since well not the very beginning but since i built it and of course i brought over a monitor and also a little webcam which was hard to adjust because again we trying were to crooked initially we were crooked and also the background was a black void that yeah, made it kate was uncomfortable really scary. kate just kept looking over here at the monitor and just being like i just like <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like joking around saying, what if we see just like a bright red pair of eyes just appear there? And she's like, don't say that. I asked him if we could close the blinds, but nope. Well, no, if you want to close the blinds, we can. Um, I thought you were saying okay. it because of the light. No, I, it's like, I don't know. It's it a feels weird... like somebody's exactly. watching me. <laughs> I don't got no privacy. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know the words. I think that's how it goes. No, well, yeah, the the song is. It's like it's like a Big Brother type thing, and it like kind of. But also, it's like it's like a stalker kind of thing. Oh yeah. It was I forget. It was by Barry Gordy's uh, grandson, I think, or oh. Barry Gordy's son, who wanted to be like a Motown star. Mm -hmm. So they gave him that song and had Michael Jackson sing the chorus. Oh. So it's just like so and so. It's like. So and so. Featuring Michael Jackson. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh. Yeah. And, well, Kate is fairly new to the channel. She's been on for the last few months of mm -hmm. us doing content. It's yeah. been a lot of fun. Yeah. But there's a lot of stuff she's missed out on, including the failure of Dashcon. Oh, dear Lord in heaven, I cannot wait for you to see this. <laughs> so, Dashcon was a convention. Uh, you know about, you know, like, regular conventions. Yeah. You, you, you've probably been to a few. Yeah. So, are you aware of the website Tumblr? Yes. The people of Tumblr tried to organize a, a convention. This is what happened. Okay. And, oh boy. <laughs> well, I guess there's no time like the present to reminisce about the past. Internet historian, take it away. In March of 2013, a group of Tumblr users come up with a brilliant idea. Dashcon. A convention specifically for and by Tumblr users. This is their story. Dashcon. Well, Hosted at the Renaissance Marriott in Chicago. Only $65 for the weekend. Well, 
epic panel lineup. Wow. Welcome to Night Vale reading. LGBTQQIP2SAA+. Massive ball pit. Steam powered giraffe live show. The Baker Street Babes. Add friendly memes? You bet. Expect 5,000 people. We'll see you there. Whoosh. Here comes Friday, and a big fat serving of reality. About 500 people show up at 9am, but nothing is scheduled until 1pm, so people just wait around for the next four hours. So at what point did you decide that this is what you wanted to do with your life? I did, but just kind of like The thug life shows you? Turns out Steam Powered Giraffe cancelled months ago. Sorry. If you bought special tickets, no refunds though, lol. Check out the games room. One TV, one console. Perfect for up to 7,000 people. Here's that ball pit you were looking forward to. Free Palestine! Death to Israel! Death to Israel! Free Palestine! Overall, it's a pretty fucking slow day. Okay, so you're dressed up as the, uh, the, the Batman movie shooter. Uh, what made you choose this costume? Um, what made you decide to dress up as the Prime Minister of Israel to this convention? They say dress for the job you want. Then by 9pm, disaster strikes. The bill for the venue hasn't even been paid. The hotel wants it immediately, all the doors will be shut, and the convention is over. Seventeen Yeah. What? No, no, this actually happened. Yes. <laughs> but they raise the money and the con continues. Saturday. Artists and stall holders who've paid 150 bucks each for their tables aren't selling anything because their customers just donated all of their cash. Tumblr's turned on the convention completely. The destruction of this convention is dedicated to all of the women whose bank account have been ruined and ruled by it. Money. I'm tired of you. Me Donate to PayPal. They call Dashcon a scam and try to have certain events shut down. Mark does stuff, a gay Hispanic panelist, Hi, I'm Mark. is sent death threats because they think he's a straight white male who's misappropriating the gay for profit. Pacific Rim is illegally played to an audience of 100. Tumblr sends tweets to Del Toro to get them in trouble. The Dr. Horrible sing-along blog sing-along is cancelled due to copyright concerns. Then the main event. As long as we get to see a live reading from Welcome to Night Vale, it'll all be okay. While everyone is still- <laughs> The one ran to, just give me back my money! Yeah. And... Everything... Uh, everything that you think can go wrong, did go wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's all because of very, very, very poor planning. And also... I, just... Still it's sitting okay. in that room, waiting for the show to start, they change the rules on the website so that there are no refunds. But don't worry, there's a silver lining. Everyone who paid extra to see Welcome to Night Vale is entitled to a free extra hour in the ball pit. This is what your seventeen thousand dollars. Bouncy castle in a ball pit. <laughs> and with that, a meme is born. Yep. One thing at the convention, and it was a ball pit. Cheekbones. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not British, but I got cheekbones. By the early afternoon, the vendors pack up and leave. Some shitty panels happen. Q&A, where they gave us too small of a table and not enough chairs, so Because again, they don't have any cash, they're giving out free hotel mints as prizes. The teenage unpaid helpers, who are promised free meals, aren't given anything and go hungry. There's a full-on organizer meltdown. And Tumblr finds out that the main artwork used for the convention is in fact stolen copyright material. 
By the evening, Oops. the unthinkable happens. The ball pit starts to deflate. And someone pisses in it. Oh my god. <laughs> Sunday. The ball pit is taken away. Also, Tumblr finds out that Random Acts, a charity that Dashcon claims to be partnered with, isn't in fact partnered at all. Which means, by the way, they've just been pocketing the money. The organizers host an official apology panel. Part of that is on us. It was on the state's name on a lot of different people's parts. And we take full responsibility for the parts that were us. We are first timers, but we intend to learn from our mistakes to make 2015 even better. Here's a quick summary of that. So like, 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 I blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. And everything is closed by 1 p.m. Since Dashcon, there have been many rumors online that the whole thing was an out-and-out -out scam. So I did some detective work to see whether it was true. I think what I found proves that even if the staff didn't set out to scam people, they did opportunistically steal and lie. Prepare for some high-quality autism. Dashcon had a written agreement to pay $40,000 plus some change to the Renaissance Hotel Marriott. They paid $20,000 before the thing began, so they had a balance of $20,000 still remaining. They told the hotel that five to 7,000 people would be attending and could they please pay as the door sales came in. As a financially risky move, the Marriott agreed verbally but not in writing. On the first day, the hotel sees at most 1,000 people. They know that Dashcon's door sales are fucked, so they enforce immediate payment as per their written contract. Dashcon does not have the funds. And here's where it gets interesting. Dashcon claims they only have $3,000 in cash. So at 9pm, Dashcon staff gather everyone into one room to beg for the remaining $17,000. let us do a head count. 33, 129, 120, maybe another 33 here in case there are people on the margin, and we'll add 10% to be generous. It's unlikely that there are more than 350 people in this room. Now we know they reached their goal. Almost got shut down. Really? We need to raise $17,000. Really? Yes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> did you do it? We did it in under an hour. Really? Yeah. They received donations by PayPal and cash, but only a small fraction in cash. Let's be generous and say one-tenth of the room at most. You can see people donating in the footage and it's probably much less. So even if each cash donor is giving 20 bucks, which again, generous, that's only $700 total. Therefore, the other 16,000 or so is in electronic payments. Now let's look at this leaked list of transactions. Hold on. They made most of their payment in cash, almost $12,000, but they only could have got 700 from the donors and they only had 3,000 in cash. So where did the rest of it come from? It's door sales revenue, not donations, meaning they lied about only having $3,000 in the first place. Oops. They actually had at least 10,000. <laughs> now, here are the transactions that come from the PayPal MasterCard. Let's take that from the total owed. And what we get is the following. In a best case scenario, of the donated $17,000, at most, they spent less than $7,000 keeping the place open. <laughs> They spent over $2,000 on themselves she's and gone. in accommodation. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. Stop me. It's fine. I, I was distracted. It's fine. Trust me. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Big Red will be back. She okay. always comes back. Oh, God. <laughs> and the remaining $9,000 or so, they pocketed. Also, they're liars. Because I was on stage for an hour in front of 5,000 people. The fuck? Are you delusional, dude? Yes. The answer is yes. Delusion is this man's game. He is he is up his own ass. Who is this guy? He was an event organizer. Oh. He was one of he was one of the people who basically scammed everyone. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Please tell me they In a room. <laughs> is there five thousand people here? Riots. That's not a riot. <laughs> that's not a riot. That's just. No, you're not. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> but there's one last thing I want to touch on. As part of the merchandising, 
an official Dashcon DVD is listed. Ooh. And it's possible that a copy exists. Nope. Uh oh. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> gonna say if you need you, to... Give me two seconds. Go ahead and do what you need to do. I'm not gonna call. We're... I'm just gonna miss. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Thought that was a pair of cat ears back there. Turns out it's the. Turns out it's that uh. uh leaf boat thing back there, right there. I thought oh. I thought that was a pair of cat ears. I'm just like, <laughs> like, who is that? <laughs> oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Sheesh. Curse my overactive imagination. Oh, she shifted. Yeah, she got up and got out of the tent and then uh, got back in. Uh. And now they're yeah, they're all four there. Okay, cool, cool. cool. One, two, three, four. Nice. I'm a pro at this. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I couldn't tell from this angle. Okay. We can go back. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, no need to go back. We're, we're still good. Sorry about that. A uh, little uh, incoming communique from uh, Kathan. Uh, might have some issues pop up for him here soon. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kathan to death. He's just, he's just. Well. Not the sharpest. When you when you wait a a year and a month <laughs> to renew your tags, you get pulled over by a cop. It's just, I mean, it's common sense. <laughs> Jesus. And when your girlfriend reminds you, over, over and, and, over, and over, over. I mean, eventually she just stops telling you. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Out there somewhere, and I need to find it. So I want to put a hundred dollar bounty out for anyone who might have a copy. It oh doesn't need gosh. to be the physical DVD, just a copy of the file itself. The hunt is on. <laughs> we gotta find it. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it? no. Um, it's never been found in the five years since this video has been released. It has not been found, hmm. sadly. Well. Well. Never say never. I mean, yeah. may, it might yeah, pop up one day. Just all of a sudden, uh, he'll open up his uh, mailbag and just be like, Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he'll come back to it. He's like, You are not going to believe this. <laughs> Look what I was sent. Look what someone sent me. Dashcon 2014. <laughs> uh, and here's the thing. He talked about multiple conventions like this. This is just one of them. Mm -hmm. The other one is called Rainforest. Oh. Where was that? Seattle, Washington. Oh. And what was that one about? Furries. Okay. <laughs> furries. <laughs> Enough said. Yeah, How I know. How many people showed up for that one? More than this one. <laughs> We'll do that one next time. Okay. But that that one I just had to share with you because oh, I figured geez. you'd find that one funny. Because that shit, I just, for the life of me. It... <laughs> I've been to some shitty conventions. Don't get me wrong. There was one I went to that had like four tables set up and like 200 people showed up. And the four tables were just overwhelmed mm -hmm. by people. And it was the organizer's four fault. Tables? Yeah, just four tables. Uh, for 200 people and it was horrible but again the people who were there did everything they could to try you know make everything accommodate it's just the organizer didn't get enough tables and also didn't have enough space for everything that was going on hmm. then there was a super like a, a there was a, a contest for like uh who who was dressed up the best who had the best costume mm -hmm. and a kid tripped on the stage and busted his face bad oh like God. bloody nose and lip and all that he was dressed up as superman and the kid like fell down and started like crying and it was a huge huge kerfuffle for the event because the kid was like seven or eight years old oh, and the mom got mad and hmm. pretty much just like tried to sue the the event organizer but yeah. again i don't know what happened but so far he hasn't ha he hasn't held another event thankfully hmm. I, yeah. Because <laughs> if that's how you're going to run the event, you don't need to be running any more events. Period. Mm -hmm. So, I love yeah. going to a convention where everything's organized. And... 
you'd Makes like my OCD. Happy. You'd you'd like uh, some of the ones we go to around here: Conapalooza, Robcon. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a Marble City Comic Con. Uh, there's several that are really really awesome. And then there's some that we actually participate in. We actually uh, we're probably going to participate. Me and Brian and Marie are probably going to participate in the uh, in Robcon. For like a return, because RobCon, they haven't had RobCon for two years now. Yeah. And they're going to be finally holding it again in October. Where? Uh, Kingsport. Oh. So not that far. Uh, then, of course, I'd love to go to Dragon Con. Dragon Con is basically the Comic-Con of the Dragon South. Con. Dragon Con? Yeah. It's basically, in Atlanta, Georgia, it is the biggest convention in the American South. And mm. it is massive. I had a chance to go to PAX. PAX was a huge, like, video gaming convention mm-hmm. where a lot of my favorite YouTubers were going to be. And also, Sin Poppy Rick, the guy who I play games with, yeah. he was there, too. And That's the one that we did that challenge with. Yeah, yeah, okay. that was, yeah, he was the one who sent us that. Yeah. Um, I had a chance to go up there, but things popped up and I couldn't go. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping in the future I'm able to go to another PAX. Uh, maybe not PAX West, because that's... That's going to be in California, and that's a bit of a it's a bit of a flight. Oh, it's Although, worth it though. Cali's awesome. Yeah, it can be, and and honestly, I wouldn't mind going. I really wouldn't because I I can probably get us plane tickets to Las Vegas, and then we can get a rental car and just drive the rest of the way. Mm-hmm. And there's I've there, always wanted to go to Vegas, not yeah. to gamble, just <laughs> just to go to Vegas just, and say you've been to Vegas. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of places in this country that I've always wanted to go. I mean. Again, one of my dream places that nobody ever thinks of is the Bonneville Salt Flats. Like the, it's one of the flattest places on planet Earth. Yeah. Just after it rains and it turns into a big mirror. Oh, that's so cool. It, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love the look of it. Too. But anyway. I forget where it is though. Uh, it's in uh, Utah. Utah. See. Okay. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Bonneville Salt Flats and the imagery. Sort of speaks for itself. Yeah. Just. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Look, look at the. Look, look at some of these pictures, guys. I want to go here. I I love that. Like, look at that. Just the mountains reflecting and just oh, so good. Also, it looks like they've carved like a little aqueduct that you can actually wrap down in it. That's awesome. Yes. I I love it. The Pota- uh, potash canals. That's what they call them. Hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Ankle deep all the way through. It just, that's amazing. So cool. Yeah. Uh, anyway, all in due time. Next uh, next on the docket, we have a hell of a boss, but we're going to be getting that in the next video. So hopefully we'll see you all there. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. We'll see you later, everyone. See ya. Peace.